Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. JC here, and uh, after last time having found out that the armor, the shields, is now fixed, um, the gun that I was using, the burst fire one, is garbage. I don't do very well with burst fire weapons, apparently. Maybe it's because I'm really bad at aiming. It could also be because my hand's shaking. <clears throat> that could also have something to do with it. But we got a few things here. We got to do this. Use the wall terminal. There has been X Cerberus. Oh, Cerberus research data. Yeah, we picked up something from the lab, which was useful. Other than that, there's not a lot going on here at the moment. It'll all start piling up later on. But for now, uh, they moved the meeting room desk here. Um, Quite true. All the refugees do have to go somewhere. <laughs> what? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had a flashback of those private messages at your terminal. <sighs> yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Right. Right, we've got the rest of the... Uh, things to do here. I'm going to go back to here. 50% of assets recovered, so i got to come to here. Oh. oh. oh you've got to be really careful, because... No, you have to push that button. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Right, let's come over here. I'll park myself about here. Scan. Signal confirmed. Haha, there you go. Alertness. Okay. Investigate that. 200 units of fuel. Okay. 50%. Oh, okay. I either got lucky both times and scanned in just the right spot, or it is still working. I don't know. Scanner. I'm sure we'll find out as time goes on. Javelin missile launchers. I okay, I guess they're handy. Uh, an inhuman media for two things. It's spectacular tides brought on by a large moon. And a bureaucratic snafu over which Earth nations got to settle there first. Oh, oh yeah. hover over that, 100%. Right. As I said, we're going to do everything now, so this may be the scanner episode. Oh my god, I forgot Hades Gamma was a huge one. Stop it. Gotta get used to that. It'll be a big test if I ping here and get everything. I found something. Yeah, yeah, it is the modified one. It, it, it ping something all the way out there, and it's that's normal, not normally the correct one. But you can see one ping brought that much. Normally, to do this, you'd have to do multiple pings. Well, that was wasted fuel. I can't store any more of that, but oh well. It'll get me onto the next system. Aluminium. And posits of calcium. Mm, bones. It's not gonna be bones, it's just calcium, but you know. Technicalities and all that, you know. Technicalities! Start scanning, you moron. Uh, 
Uh, more credits, lovely. I get to spend more stuff at the Citadel. <laughs> there is only one hub in this game now, the Citadel, so that's fine. There's only one place to spend your credits. Okay, right, well, let's carry on then. You gotta cruise on in there. That's a very bright start. Ping! Signal confirmed. It's almost guaranteed that one ping will never bring the Reapers. <laughs> As I said, I have modified the files. It's just, it's on the Nexus. I just don't like the Reaper mechanic. All the fact that you have to ping multiple times. So what it does is it makes my ping radius like stupidly large, larger than any system. And that's it, you ping once. If I do fill that up, I don't think they appear, but if you've got a ping radius the entire size of the system, you only have to ping once and the Reapers never come from just one ping. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. Over trial and error in the original game. The Reapers don't come with only one ping. Two pings and more, yeah, there's a chance. saying very skilled pilot pirates or smugglers <laughs> oh alliance frigate Ashingor. alliance first fleet well i've updated the alliance first fleet with an extra ship what on earth that ship was doing there we'll find out when we read the entry but first Get fuel on this one on up Shit Creek. <laughs> Travel in. Bing! I found something. See what I mean by they won't quite come with one ping. Two pings, definitely. Fuel, 200 units. Alright, I still need 200 more units, but. In atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. Lovely planet then. Scan. More credits. Lots of credits. Lovely. Right, we're done here. Move to the nearest map edge. Ping, 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 ping. The oldest entry in the star charts. Even though it's the oldest one, it hasn't been fully mapped. What? Obviously, people take one look at it and just go, ah, it ain't worth it. Special Ops Team Zeta. 103 Marines. Nice. Any source of elements here. Chunk of Ezo ejected by a supernova millions of years ago. Well, I think that's probably why people haven't bothered checking it out because it's a bit of a hellscape okay
Oh, we're back in. Ping. I found something. Uh, I wish the people around here would stop banging on things. All I hear is just thunk, 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 thunk every so often. Someone's knocking the snot out of it. Credits recovered. Oh, look, more credits to spend on the Citadel. Excellent. And to pay my fuel bill, 50%. Oh, well. Maybe this will help me with my fuel bill. Yeah. That did it. Thanks. Okay, we are w there. Cool. I wasn't expecting it to s gain mouse movement that quickly. 100% there. And we're going to continue doing this. My reasoning for doing this is if I 100% them now, if I pick up stuff later on in the game and it adds new systems to these, that number will drop. If there's something to pick up in that system, that number drops, which alerts me to the fact that there's something to do in that system. I can jump there, move the place, and then anything, it'll basically spawn a brand new system that I can visit. So that won't have a percentage number on it. So I can just quickly zip over there, grab it, and I can do that off camera. Just doing the initial one. God, grief, my mouse is wow, twitchy. Let me need to tone down that sensitivity. Ugh. It seems to be perfectly fine everywhere else, so it's just the map is twitchy. It's, what's the point in having a twitchy map? Before I go flying out into the abyss, is there anything else out there? <laughs> yes. One. At the moment, there's one. Enter that system. Hey. Signal confirmed. Well, that, in the base game, that would have been perfectly fine. That was a lucky ping. 100 units of fuel, that barely even, that doesn't even pay for me to get back. Never mind. <laughs> Our deck. Our deck, not R. There's no R in it, you muppet. Credits. As I said, I'm doing this just to get the 100% so I know when new things pop up. I found something. Large amount of fuel. <sighs> it's a pretty small amount of fuel, I guess. A charm. That's the Paterian's homeworld. Oh. Crap. Less mystery than it is outright. Well, then outright lies. Death blow to that empire. Almost no information has escaped Kashan since the Reapers destroyed the comms, boys. Distance has created a bond among the commoners. A new government can arise from the ashes. That bond may sustain a new Batarian society. Yeah, less emphasis on slavery. You'll get on much better with the rest of the... Uh, galaxy if you're not nicking everybody from their planets. Oh, there's the Citadel Pillars of Strength. So I found the thing, one of the things I was looking for that got to be, it's got to be handed back. Great. Wonderful. That's right, I'm just going to take a quick little dive into this uh, hydrogen helium gas giant. Because the game's weird like that. It lets me do that. Oh, did it have to be on the opposite side of the planet? Where I started scanning? A weapon upgrade kit. Handy. One hundred percent completed. Excellent. Right, let's leave this because 
I didn't realize this. This is Batarian space. Did we visit Kite's Nest in the first game? Oh, I'm, I'm sure that went down well. I think that one permanently stays there as like a refueling base. I'm not sure. And that's a DLC mission, which I will not do me. Yes. Yeah, he's prime. Yeah, I'm not going to do that one just yet. I'll do everything else, but not, not that mission. That's a useful reset mission. Oh, I just see it over there. With how scarce fuel is, just sailing off into the bly, white blue yonder is not a very good idea. Signal confirmed. There was a lot of stuff just popped up. This is a very rich system, shall we say. Oh, so Alliance Spec Ops Teams Delta. Handy. We get this time. Oh, this is Terra Nova. A Reapers land on Terra Nova after a brief battle with the Sixth Fleet, aware that they it would lose, the fleet retreated in hopes of Mel of meeting. Yeah. Here is light. It rages over the weather to try to liberate the planet, or if such an Effort would prove futile if the Reapers sent reinforcements. This is the one in the first game we saved from a asteroid. Oh, the Alliance Cruiser Shanghai. At least I assume that's the correct way of saying it. I wouldn't know. Oh, yes, everybody's probably bored by this point. Me scanning over and over and over again. I just want this over with. Can I get this over with now? Remains of Reaper Destroyer. Well, something killed a Reaper Destroyer. Trust the gas giant to do it. Asgard, ah, oh, yeah, dear Asgard. Ah, oh, I should have realised. Uh -huh. Support roll to Terra Nova. Fire a probe at it. Alliance Naval Exploration Flotilla. I'm getting all the funky things. Investigate this, and it is 250 units of fuel. That might get me back. Need a little nudge. Right. I found something. And 200 units of fuel. Okay, I think I am going to have to visit a fuel depot soon. Any large ones like that, and I'm, I'm boogered. So I won't have enough fuel. Rothian data files. Okay, that might be helpful. Maybe I'd cross reference some stuff. How on earth it was in a gas giant? Might have been just sitting in orbit or something, you know. 100% recovered, right. Uh, 
I know there's something there, but Not today. 100%, 100%, 100%. There you go. That's 100%. And that's where we're heading. So, woohoo! We'll jump there, see what it's like. I don't think there's anything here. Might be a fuel depot. As I said, it may very well be one of the only fuel depots. Yes! Come on, the only fuel depots remaining. Thank you! You can ping all you like. It, this system is literally here as a fuel depot, I think. At this stage of the game, this is only here as a fuel depot. Oh, there is a fuel depot here still. Oh! Okay! Got more scanning before we do that mission. Good. That means the scanning, the, the mission will be next time. Just ping. Signal confirmed. Okay. Excuse me! Stuff behind here. I bet you there's going to be absolutely tons of fuel here, and I'm going to utterly regret. Turian 79th Flotilla. Oh, it's Toad. Military base from the system devoid of planets. That's an interesting way of doing it. If you want to turn a system into a military base, just pull a planet in it. Please be credits. Oh, 800 units of fuel. Okay, it does say assets recovered. Do I really want to spend the fuel to come out here just to pick up fuel to head back? Answer is no. Yeah, big battles happened here and there was loads of fuel, so I just wasted half a ton of fuel. <laughs> yeah, you got to weigh up whether it's worthwhile it probably would have been worthwhile leaving them there if I'd known in advance that the fuel was a big load of fuel and then just having it as a oh I need fuel come back here later but um I found something I'm a consummate lazy git and I don't like having to remember things which is why I tend to do them as I encounter them so I don't have to remember that I need to come back for them Ooh, Banner of the 1st Regiment. Okay, there was something there that I didn't interact with, but I can hand it in later on because I've already got it. Turian colony, obviously. They're holding the Reapers in stalemate. Good grief. That must be attrition. Watches it's just like 150 fuel. Oh, it's 350. Okay, full recharge. Thank you very much. Yeah, nothing here. That's the home well. Hello. We're going to the moon. You have to get real close. It's... Hello? Ah, I was waiting for it to make a noise and it was already, it already flipped over. Right, we're going to enter orbit. <laughs> Dawn Turian Space Age. During the Krogan Rebellions, the hierarchy classified nearly all data on this moon. And its sister moon, as they feared the Krogans could use the moons as weapons by smashing them into Palavin's surface. However, some information has leaked out 
images of Turian bases where personnel walk without enviro suits indicate advanced infrastructure, likely a network of subterranean tunnels with powerful mass effect fields. Or field generators that retain heat and atmosphere over swathes of the surface. The Reaper's plans for bombarding the bases were met with fierce resistance by the Turian fleet and the moon's anti-aerospace defenses. Mm. With their easy victory stalled, the Reapers deployed a variety of ground units to take the bases one at a time. The Turians have the advantage on the moon, but the Reapers have the patience to slowly grind them down. With every base captured, the Reapers deny the Turian fleet another place to repair or refuel. Classified. Orbits Palavin every 33 days. That's a slow ass moon. Radius, classified. Day length, classified. Atmosphere pressure, classified. Surface temperature, classified. Surface gravity, you guessed it, classified. And on that note, this episode is now classified. What? No. Thank you for watching. And until next time, when we actually do the mission, this is JC.